Hello everybody, we're here at Farmstay, the factory, and now the studio. My name is Janie. My name is Amy. And this is the new line yes. that's welcomed by Farmstay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so everybody knows about the 10-step skincare. What is, uh, what is different about this? So we have our special 7-step skincare from Farmstay. We have okay. cleansing foam, a toner pad, a tonal, emulsion, ampoule, cream, and eye creams. And for any of the special pamper night, we could have the mask sheets as well. Okay. So as a person who grew up with a lot of skin problems mm -hmm. and acne, I became obsessed with tea tree as well. Mm -hmm. Is this only for people who have troubled skin or sensitive skin, or is it okay for everybody to use? It is specialized for a sensitive skin because we did get our hypoallergenic test all complete for all of these um, products in the tea tree line. But it is also good for all skin types because we do have enough moisturization and everything implemented into the products. What if you have oily skin? It is a perfect line for oily skin because we try to keep it um, balanced between the water to oil ratio. So it has enough moisturization for your dry patches, but it does not leave any of the excess oiliness on the skin for the oily skin too. What about combination skin? Yeah, for you know, for all skin types, it is perfect. Um, we prepared the seventh step because if you need more moisturization, if you need more hydration, you could add on to the skin types. And if you have more of a um, oily skin, you could take down some of like creams or eye creams. You could just take that out from your skincare routine and you're good to go. Great. And how can we do the seven steps of the Farm Stay Tea Tree Biome? Mind, right. Mind. Um, so you could firstly start with our cleansing foam. Obviously, it is it is a low pH calming um, cleanser. What is low pH? What does it do? So low pH means it's less acidic. So it's less um, irritating to your skin. It is good for your skin because it has the similar pH level as your own skin types. So it is a gentle cleanser, but it also has the effective cleansing efficacy. So it, it removes all of the makeup residues, all of the waste and everything without really irritating your skin. So firstly, you could really erase and you know, take down all of your stress from the day with the cleansing foam and then move on to a toner pad. So um, cleansing foams, even though it's really good, it cannot take off every single bit of the you know, fine dust and everything. So it is really crucial to take off another layers of it and our toner pad helps with that. Toner Jay? pad. Can you taste? Can you test this to give, to to give us it. your honest uh, opinion about the feeling? So my schedule is incredibly busy, so I mm. love using this because you're washing your face and you're still not set yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look at this. Okay, so your it removes makeup and mm -hmm. dirt. Well, it has the toner essence soaked into the pad, so it's not a cleansing pad, but it's a toner pad. Oh, so you God. use it on a clean face, mm -hmm. but it's just extra, you know, um, preparation for your rest of the skincare routine. It has a familiar tea tree scent mm -hmm. that I remember from all my mm -hmm. tea tree. But one thing that she said that really struck me is all the other tea tree products that I've used, they always ended up drying out my skin. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like Farmstay made sure that it's compatible with all types of skincare and it won't dry your skin because it has all this hydration Correct. also included. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it feels the similarity in all the products is it's cleanliness, very mm -hmm. light and clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. What's our next product? So after the toner pad, you can really wash off the fine dust that the cleansing foam couldn't do and then apply this toner. Um, this toner is just uh, extra care after the toner pad. It is, um, it's not super necessary, but if you have dry skin and you wanna, you know, get that um, inner dryness in your skin, you could definitely layer up some of the toners. Um, and then for extra hydration, you can move on to the emulsion. The tea tree biome calming emulsion is like a lotion for your face. It's uh, more hydrating than cream, but it is definitely heavier than a toner. Do you want to test that? Sure, sure. So what is the benefit of moisturizing your skin with like the toner and the emulsion? What is the benefit you get? 
So hydrating your skin is really important because it fills in that aging gap. It um, so there are different layers of skin, and over time and over the exposure to suns and external environment, it gets dry. It is exposed to all of the harmful, you know, bacteria and everything. So it is crucial to moisturize that, you know, evaporated moisture that you lost out throughout the day. Mm. Okay. She already explained the emulsion that we test this as well. Mm -hmm. Emulsion is just another name for a lotion. Correct, yeah. It's just a different term that uh, we use. Okay. I'll show the camera in one second. Okay. So is this the secret for Asian women's nice skin? Is it the process of using the different types of yeah, yeah, definitely. Mm. Uh, because people's um, human skin has different layers, if you apply two um, nourishing cream as your first and only skincare routine, that it does not get deep into the skin layers. That's why we put lighter textures first and then layer it on mm. to moisturize and hydrate mm. your skin. Mm. Yeah, so after toner, emulsion, and if necessary, into an ampule, it really differs by all of the um, skin types. You can move on to cream. Cream is definitely a more, you know, a known product type. And if you try, it has a, a really cooling finishing to it. Can I use my finger? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. It's like very soft. It really settles into your skin. Um, but it has that like refreshing finish to it, as so does the scent. It's light enough that it will work in the summer, but mm -hmm. it's also thick enough that I would wear this in the winter as well. Right, right. It has really interesting um, finish to it. Okay. I personally love it too. Can I ask you something? Because a lot of my friends ask me this too. Mm -hmm. Why bother putting on ampoule? So ampoule is just a good way to balance your water to oil, that balance. So um, even if you have oily skin, if you too put too little of a oiliness product, it will just create more to you know balance it out naturally, and that's how it wrecks the system. So if you have dry skin, you still have to put toner and ampoule and cream and everything to try to balance that out. Mm -hmm. And if you even if you have oily skin, you still have to put something that has the oil in it so that it doesn't create too much oil to or to dry it out or something. You know, it you have to actually balance it out, and that's how the skincare seven steps or ten steps of skincare was created. Mm. I noticed that ampoule is a step that kind of came in more recently mm. to the skincare, but the word that I keep hearing when you explain this is balance. Right. So it kind of balances up all the, all the other products. Yeah. Okay. Okay, lastly would be the eye cream. Well, all we all age, but we want to age beautifully, Crazy. right? <laughs> <laughs> so you still have to put on eye cream and it is crucial to put the eye cream even from this young age because you don't, it, when you're aging, it's already starting to age. So you, it's crucial to um, prevent it and to prepare your skin in advance. So we actually recommend to start in your 20s or 30s so that when you're like 40s or 50s or 60s, you have less of a wrinkle. You could feel free to try it yourself. Sure. And actually, just a note, I love the simplicity of their packaging, if you look at it. Thank you. So, the <laughs> perfect color and the simple design. Everybody loved our Very packaging. Awesome. Okay. Alright, so what it looks like, I put a lot on my hand right now. <laughs> a little actually, pretty. A little <laughs> pretty. <laughs> actually, a little goes a long way, right? True. Yeah. For this product. So. I hear a lot of women in Korea talking about glassy skin or mm -hmm. the... What does it, what, how, how, does this achieve the glassy skin and can you explain about glass skin? Yeah, so I noticed that even for like makeups, um, a lot of people used to look for like a matte finishes, but the Asian people really loves that, you know, glowy, glassy look. We have that word glassy because we want to look glowy and like young and like transparent, you know, and our skincare routine is actually for the glassy skin so that your um, skin looks natural, glowy, and just as it, sh it is supposed to be. Speaking of glassy and glowy, if you look at my hand, it's like literally glowing right now yeah. from all the product. Okay. Awesome. 
So you were saying that after you use all this, like mm -hmm. let's say I've had such a hard day at work, I'm mm -hmm. gonna wind down in bed, but I want that extra step. Mm -hmm. You were yes, saying this yes, would be that, that's it. Okay. Um, this is our mask sheet. We really put a long time developing this because we wanted to make sure that mask sheets do its job. And so we came up with a special sheet. Mm. Um, usually mask sheets are common just like a paper like sheets, but we used a cellulose sheet. Cellulose is a natural ingredient from eucalyptus. It's what koalas eat. <laughs> yeah, so we wanted to make it like nature driven. And so this is a little dry so you could see the sheets, but when it's really soaked into the essence, it is very, very thin that when you put it on the skin, it doesn't really show because it is so soft. Yeah, so since um, if it's too thin, I noticed that it is too hard to um, you know open it up and apply on your face. And that's why we um, came up with the mesh lining. So we have the mesh lining on so that people could just open it up easily and apply it directly onto the skin and then just remove the mesh lining and voila, it's on your skin. So you could see it yourself here after you open it. As How somebody, many minutes I should put it on my face? <laughs> as, uh, it's 10 to 15, 15 to 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. As somebody who's tested a lot of sheet masks, mm -hmm. I find that one of the hardest parts is actually getting like, it on your face. It's such a I simple know, part, I but know. it's, yeah. Like, it's so slimy. It's, it's really hard to open. Okay. I think we should show them how to open it. So it's actually easy to open. It's got a little thing here, like this. And then this will show you the wetness that you couldn't necessarily see. It has a lot of essence in it, so if you could take it out, it's gonna be all drapey because it has so much essence to it. Should I take it out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, it is very yeah. wet. Okay. Can I hand it over to you? It's dripping. <laughs> Can you demonstrate how to open this from here? Yeah, if you see, music? it is really soft in the essence, and in this in this pouch, there's still a lot of essence in it, so you yeah. could really put on um, extra essence if necessary. So when you open it, it comes in this little, I know, it has a lot of essence. A in lot it. of essence left. Can you see you guys the users? Wow. <laughs> yeah, so um, when, it, when it's without this mesh lining, it is really hard to open. You know the struggle, right? Mm -hmm. But with the mesh lining, it opens up so easily. It just open like wow. paper. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. You just grab the mesh lining and it opens up super easily. And then you put the um, mask sheets part directly onto your face and then remove the mesh lining just like so. Oh, very simple. Yeah. And if you see here, I'll just put it on my skin to show you. When it's applied on the skin, it literally doesn't really show <laughs> because it's, it's so right thin. In. Yeah. That's why uh, we especially put the mesh lining. Like it's so thin, it it really gets stick to your face. I know that some masks just like drip along when you're standing up, so you have to like lie down. But this one you don't have to. Mm -hmm. I personally love using this mask over you know the other types of masks that you like clay masks or like the coffee masks that mm -hmm. I have because it's so simple. When you're busy, you just want like skincare, fast skincare. Yeah. I was testing sheet masks for a week and my coworker the next morning was like, your skin is like glass. And I was like, that's, <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Great, so seven steps. Seven steps. Great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you.